And people asking questions about how it's possible, having now seen what looks like the start of this punch-up, uh, that the two men in question don't appear to have been charged with anything and appear to have just been let go. Uh, you mean the two men that attacked the police yes. officers? Is yeah. that what you're referring Those to? Those two, yeah. Uh, well, no, as I understand it, four men were arrested uh, and that um, they, they were arrested for assault and affray and they've now been bailed pending the matter being investigated. So I think all of the people that were involved in the in the affray and the assault or the alleged affray and assault were arrested. But, I mean, that's based on the information I've got. Yeah. But they, so under that scenario, they would be released on police bail, though? Well, they have been released on yeah. police bail, that's right, yes. Yeah. So they will be um, required uh, at some point in the future to, um, uh, to uh, return to the mm. police station. Uh, the police uh, and the CPS haven't considered uh, what steps to take, if any, right. uh, and um, uh, if they feel there's enough uh, evidence uh, that there's a realistic prospect of a conviction, then they will be charged with those offences. Right. I mean, call me old-fashioned, but looking at that footage, um, I would suggest that's quite a lot of evidence. Uh, yes, uh, it's it's uh, it's it's good evidence. I mean, you know, in the end, it's the decision for the CPS. Uh, but that that's always the point about um, this sort of uh, CCTV fo phone footage type uh, evidence. It's very difficult to. Um, go against it i mean obviously there's an issue about identifying who is who mm. and who's doing what uh but um it's not that uh, difficult yeah, though. good evidence it's, it's not that difficult is it i mean the point is is that if this was in any other situation it seems to me if i for example had sort of walked out of uh, my office here at london bridge come across a couple of armed police officers standing around the station and decided to lay into them um i would imagine i'd be charged pretty much before the end of the day uh, well, I'm not sure that's right, actually, uh, Mike. Why? <laughs> Why are you not well, because, sure that's right? Because there's a process that has to be gone through uh, whereby the evidence that's available has to be considered. Uh, and um, uh, that, Yeah, that, but we're that talking about... Involves, we're talking about on, that often the... involves the uh, Crown Prosecution Service looking at the evidence. So, I, I mean, you know, the point is here, it's not necessarily why things weren't done straight away, why people haven't been charged immediately. The issue is... A process has gone through, and if there is evidence, then uh, that, that, that where there is a realistic prospect of uh, a conviction, then uh, they will be charged and they will be brought before the courts. Yes, no, I understand everything you're saying. You keep saying the same thing, but the point is, is that this has been a very long time from the incident happening to where we are now. There's an awful lot of politics around it. There's an awful lot of politicians saying things uh, last week who are saying now nothing. Um, yeah, Andy, well, and, Andy for... Burn, and Andy Burnham saying, well, of course, you know, we have to look at all the different violent episodes to make sure that, you know, they're all treated the same. Well, surely they're not. I mean, if we're saying that it's the same thing for a police officer to, um, to punch a suspect as it is for a suspect to punch a police officer, then the world's gone mad, hasn't it? Uh, well, it's not the same thing, and I don't know who's saying that, because that's legal. Well, well, Andy Burnham's saying it. Well, uh, he should uh, get to know the law better uh, because, uh, as we all know, it's it's now an offence to uh, attack. It's a serious offence, quite rightly, to attack a emergency worker. Right. Uh, so th there is a difference. But um, it, and I'm sorry for repeating myself, Mike. <laughs> Don't know I'm not how trying to be rude. I can, I can answer. The, yeah, because the yeah, I mean, it's not me, your but... it's not your fault, Paul. You're just trying to explain a system which is unexplainable. Um, because it's it's incredible to me uh, that you can talk about evidence that the CPS have to in examine evidence for more than a week, which they must have because there will be also footage from um, from cameras that are on the clothing of the police officers themselves. So people have seen evidence of police officers being assaulted, and yet now, even a, a week or more later, there's been no charges brought. I find that staggering. Right. Well, I, I'm sorry about that, but but y y you know. There has to be a process that has to be gone through. I'm going to repeat again. myself again. <laughs> uh, and I know. Because, you see, look, the, the, isn't the issue here that um, this process is... I mean, look, we, we, we're dealing with a post office inquiry where things were not considered properly and people were charged where they shouldn't have been. So, in a way, that's it's why these things have comparison. to be considered carefully before people are charged. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think so, so, if the police if the police can't get their act together inside a week when something like this has happened and re been recorded by many different uh, types of devices, including CCTV, I think there's something wrong with the system.
Right. Okay. Well, I can't. I, I apologise to the system, but the the, the um you don't need the thing to. is though that that and the difficulty with this is the the commentary that comes with when these things go uh, onto social media, uh, and everyone who jumps on the bandwagon to try and take advantage of whatever it is, which is as we know here only put up in piecemeal fashion on social media, uh, and and the, the 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 fuss that then is created because of these people jumping onto the bandwagon, whereas what they should let happen is a process which will result in, if there is, to repeat myself yes. again... But this is my point. evidence skewed conviction, but then... This is, but um, this is my point. If there was any doubt as to what had happened, I would be totally along, alongside you, saying, you're absolutely right, we must consider everything, we must take it all into account. But, you know, that's not the situation. The situation is we're looking at footage of some very violent men attacking members of our police force, right? That's it. That's the only fact you need to have. I don't know why they're doing it, but surely the fact that they have done it and the fact that they've been seen doing it, they've been recorded doing it, is a good enough reason to charge them with doing it. Right. Well, <laughs> not, not much more I can say about okay. that. OK. Uh, All right. It, well, it, listen, it, we'll it, leave it there. Paul, thanks very much indeed. Paul Gilbert there. Not sure about whether um, these men should be charged or not until...